bitch. At least, as long as it was at least four. I got to that one before the last one, and I was like, did I do three or four? I don't know. I'm just doing another one. One, two, three, four. Let's get this started. Your mom's a... <laughs> Hello, Italians, and welcome to Ratchet and Clank, A Crack in Time. This one is my personal favorite. Um, I Ratchet think it's, and I think Clank, it's most people's. A Crack in My Butt. Hmm. Ratchet's just fucking dead. Yeah. <laughs> what does. What's this? I know we're doing it on what medium, it, but what's... What an adventure for beginners, an adventure for intermediate play. It's just, it, yeah. Okay, so he's, on casual, he's just smiling at you. He's like, yeah. Yeah, he's giving, like, a thumbs up. Because, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's like, yeah, we're going to do this. Yeah. But we're doing medium, because yeah. we ain't pansies about this. Yeah. I always play on the easiest difficulty, unless the easiest difficulty is called casual. Then fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a hit to my ego at that point. Well, wouldn't easy be a bigger hit to your ego? I don't fucking know, man. Because, I, I mean, if the difficulty is called easy, and I'm still having trouble, <laughs> then I'm like, well, shit, I guess I'll go fuck myself. <laughs> this is supposed to be the easy one? <laughs> yeah. So, But if I play on medium, then I have an excuse to tell myself, like, oh, it's fine. I'm just playing on uh, a higher difficulty, so of course it's gonna be hard sometimes. Yeah. Oh no. shit, we're starting right into the shit. Have I ever told you about my son? <laughs> Remarkable boy. The, uh, Quite fidelity smart. is definitely improved. He was born in a robot factory in the Solana galaxy. But to be precise, he was created much farther away. My son's name is XJ0461, but the universe knows him as Clank. Oh. I should have been paying more attention. Ah! My arch nemesis! Not so smart now, are you? Sir, the Zoni are inquiring about our progress. Ah, how much longer must we pretend to be friends with those twits? Stand by for sister board scan. Alright, let's see. Favorite color screen, favorite numbers 83 billion and 4.7. Access denied. Neural safeguard activated. No! 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 Locked out again! It's in here, Lawrence. Somewhere in this brain lies the key to the Orbis chamber. No, Orbis chamber. You're so menace. If we can take a peek at the chamber. <laughs> no, Orbis chamber. Chamber is for sire only. Very well. Then I think it's time our partnership came to an end. Say hello to... Not the hypersonic brainwave scrambler. The hypersonic brainwave scrambler! <laughs> Apologies, sir. I should have mentioned the equipment is especially susceptible to sonic weaponry. Backup generator activated. He's awake! Stop him! Watch the game start off with a fucking coin level. <laughs> it's gonna be just that, isn't it? It might. Oh, it is. Oh, there you go, Jay. Um, it's tradition. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. The Clank levels aren't as bad in this one. They're still not the hi exactly the highlight of the game. Oh. Um, it's good to see you that. It's good to hear that they're at least hollow. Yeah, they're more puzzle oriented in general. Um, I don't know about this first one. I don't. I don't think this one. It just looks like a. You know, 
Yeah. Which I'm not opposed to. Yeah, as long as it's like simple, because playing as Clank isn't that fun. No, you're supposed to go to the was a big green But that guy is talking. Oh. Yeah, he was telling you to sneak through this area. He's trying to get you out of here. Oh. We should probably, uh, before I forget, we should probably turn on the, um... Turn on subs. Yeah, subtitles. For the uh, viewers. Game options. Speech. All the way up. Good idea. Uh... Do subtitles on. Okay, there we go. Difficulty. Oh, we can change the difficulty anytime. Good to know. Good to know. It's interesting, but we're not going to change. Yeah. The rest of this should be fine. Weapon feature alerts. Uh, where's the... Oh. Controls? Control. It's in a separate menu, although I don't think you need to change it for this one. I could be wrong, but I don't think you need to change it for this one. Okay, default. If you like, oh, maybe the it first person shooters, these controls let you move and shoot with both left and right sticks. Wait, what does the default say? As uh, the... Oh, whoops. Go to... If you prefer the class. No. No, 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 no. Go to default. This control scheme works best for fighting and jumping. When Ratchet shoots, the camera looks in the direction he's firing. Uh, oh, I think that's the one we want. All right, we'll, we'll do default. And yeah, we'll try it. And if it's not that, then we'll change it. I think I remembered not having to change this one. But if I'm wrong, then oh well. We just changed it. Delete. Delete. We can delete the save file while we're playing it. Uh, I don't know. Is that the save file, or is it talking about deleting the game? <laughs> just sure. uninstall. You're safe for now. <laughs> you click it, what is the, vid the, the video just ends. Here. I'll explain everything <laughs> as soon as you're safe, sir. But right now, we need to calibrate your ocular response process. Ratchet and Try Clank cracking time speed run. <laughs> Any percent? Press R to look at. Yep, this is the correct. Okay, now look at the one on the right. This was in an area of era of games where every game thought it was necessary to teach you how to fucking look. Can you not look up naturally? Apparently not. Try it. Try, try looking up. Yeah, you can sort of do it. Okay. Well, if it becomes a problem, you know what to do. Why is there a look mode? <laughs> well, it's the same button that you use for, like, uh, aiming. You know, um, Ratchet's over the shoulder thing. Okay, yeah. It's the same button for that. So it's no different. Right? Yeah. They just call it look me. We come in peace. We That's a lot of zone. Yeah, but it's a lot less now. There's a perfectly logical explanation for that, but let's save it for another time. <laughs> I'm sure there is a perfectly logical explanation. <laughs> No box left behind. Lots of fucking bolts right off the start. Yeah. They want us. They want to give us a head start. I guess. Fucking inflation going on. <laughs> I hope not. Let's keep the capitalist fucking messaging out of this game. I thought we were rid of that like three games ago. Uh, something about square using the helipad boost. What? I don't think it said square. I think you just tap X again to oh. just glide. Oh, you hit X when you're there, oh, you, you can, can do it again. Boost. Okay. Okay, that's what they're trying to tell you. See, it's slightly more tolerable in this one. I suppose. It still feels slow. Yeah. But luckily, it's still not much of the game. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I, I wouldn't sign up just to play this. Yeah. It's dull, but tolerable. Oh, this is just scenery. I guess so. Time, you know, so you can time it to glide forward. Yeah, if you don't press them all at once, then you can get a little bit quicker. Yeah, you know, you, know, you would think that I would be able to figure that out the most I know. now. It's dumb. 
But it's fine. It's a product of its time. Yeah. A time when they thought people were idiots. Yeah. Game tutorials. We're always like this. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> they certainly don't seem right on my tail. <laughs> In fact, I'm gonna go watch some movies right here. Ah, shit, it's broken. Ah, uh, my favorite film, Sparks. <laughs> Sparks and Broken Glass. Oh, shit, I'm being shut at. What am I supposed to do? I don't know, he hasn't told you yet? It looks like he's doing something. I guess I'm just I going. Ah, there it goes. Still got hit. <laughs> oh, what? That's, what? That's not a platform? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be. I don't know what happened. That's fucking stupid. I'm fairly certain that was a platform when I played it. What is this good? Did I just land right on their shots? I think, like, something about the scenery fucked you. Yeah, because it works now. I don't know what the problem was the yeah. first time. I think it might have had something to do with the debris that was falling around. There's, like, broken glass and shit. I guess. Also, these guys look like flashlights. <laughs> <laughs> with eyes stuck Damn in. it! <laughs> I can't unsee it now! <laughs> <laughs> An interesting proposition. Yeah, look at him. Yeah, it's pretty hard to unsee. <laughs> I think I just invented cursed energy. You did, you certainly did. Damn it, that's probably gonna end up being the title of the video. <laughs> or something like it, anyway. Oh. Oh, got rid of that just. Probably shouldn't be fucking around. <laughs> okay. That is a bit of a problem. Yeah, I didn't think I was dirtling that much in the previous entrance. Sir, they locked me in. Keep moving and don't let them anywhere near the chamber. The chamber. The Orvis chamber. The Orpheus chamber. The Orpheus chamber. Yes. It's his uh, place in solitary confinement in Tartarus. The ore fish chamber. When something, when what they decided to serve for lunch wasn't to your liking. Throw back. Could to, have that or fish. Throw back the fragments from a game. Of <laughs> oh yeah. Doctor Nefarious, I should have known you were behind this. Where have you taken me? You don't recognize it. This is your home. The great clock. A marvel of science and sorcery, engineered by the bright of Sony in all of existence, and constructed in the exact center of the universe! Give or take 50 feet. I am curious. <laughs> what lie did you tell the Zoe in your quest for vengeance? Vengeance? You think I went to all this trouble for mere vengeance? They say I made a maniacal. Let's just say it's all in the past. Lawrence! Right here, sir. The regular <laughs> orb of gratuitous immobilization. <laughs> Shall I prepare he the fucking does. station again? No. I have a better idea. But, sir. Patience, Lawrence. We have all the time in the universe. <laughs> Those look like a very good thing. Mm -hmm. 
Welcome to um, the best ratchet. I'm not game. sure what I think of the uh, metal bits on uh, Nefarious's jaw moving without any hinges on them. I'm gonna have to take a look at that <laughs> next time we see him. Because it's just your stereotypical serious. cartoon and style animation, yeah. I guess. Like, I get it, so but it's weird. Oh, that that if you lost your car keys in it, they would be almost impossible to find. <laughs> Luckily for Ratchet, Captain Copernicus L. Quark was on the case. His mission, rescue the Lombax's one and only friend. Yep, without Clank, Ratchet was alone in the universe. Watch him just be alone. Really nice alone. 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 <laughs> 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 Called it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could say I've been a little antsy in my pantsy at the thought of getting back into the hero business. <laughs> yep, these wild stallions have been in the stable too long. <laughs> right. Look, just Quirk wasn't in the last game, was he? Talon says this sector's mm, well, a, a lot of people weren't in the last easy, game. <laughs> yeah. No one was in the last the game. Aside from, uh, Talon, Ratchet, uh... Hang on. Shifting to a basic maneuver. <laughs> Too late for that. Okay. Whatever Talon's robot. Kronk and Zephyr, that's it. They were in it. No, wait, no, they weren't. They, even they weren't in it. No, they weren't. It was just Ratchet and Talon and a couple side characters, and then Blank and Barry. It's at the very, very end. Yeah. <laughs> the flap said online in the subtitles, but offline in the actual battle line. Oh, really? I wasn't talking about that. <laughs> I've never played this with subtitles on before. <laughs> also, another ship comes to this. Yep. <laughs> what are we up to now? I haven't been keeping track. <laughs> Damn it. It was like four just in the first game. Yeah. I think it was as many as there are games. Okay, so the last game we didn't wreck a ship in, and we didn't wreck a ship in Tools of Destruction. But I think we more than made up for that in the ones before it. <laughs> no, wait, I think we did wreck a ship in Tool of Destruction. Yeah, we wrecked the very starting ship. Yeah. Perhaps a leisurely stroll through this uncharted jungle will solve the mystery. Oh, we're uh, name yes. dropping Uncharted now? Some timey wimey bullshit right here. What the fuck just happened with the camera? I guess it must have brushed up against something. Were you trying to turn it while it was zooming? I'm not sure. The most terrifying evil of all. Nature. Nature. Hang on, try to double jump. Okay, we technically have a double jump. Alright, it kind of feels like the last game, I think. Do we have a gun? We have... Oon gun. Yes. There's actually less guns in this game, uh, but the guns are generally better. That's good. Yeah. yeah. As long as the net quality of firepower is the same as the last game. Oh, there's not less guns than <laughs> uh, Quest for Booty, of course. I was more comparing it to Tools of Destruction. Yeah, that, I, I didn't know what you were talking about. <laughs> If there's so, less guns than Quest for Booty, we have a problem. If there's less than an entire button in the middle. Yeah. Okay, slight problem. I'm not so good with it. With it. Just wait here. I'll find you another way across. Oh, great. This rain is gonna be murder on my spandex. <laughs> too much information. Cork is the king of too much information. Imagine having 2,000 volts in the first game. <laughs> What's the plan, anyway? Well, where there are bridges, there are people. Where there are people, there are ships. You see where I'm going with this? Hey, that's pretty smart. You're gonna make a great sidekick. I should leave you right here. <laughs> Look at this beautiful native craftsmanship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't have to be funny anymore. The game does it for us now. Something is seriously wrong with this planet. Uh, it's like time is all 
I'm not working. Yeah, somebody used chaos control around here. <laughs> chaos control! You freeze there and the game ends. I'll find another Clark way has to like drag you out. You gonna be all right like with those things on the loose? Toe, that's Please, still outside of the zone. Come on, Clark isn't that smart. He just walked full on in again. Ow, is he not gonna finish that? No, I have to I get you. For some reason, he can't kick down the door this time. Oh! You oh, almost, you almost cheesed, cheesed it. it. <laughs> I almost cheesed that. You were really close to cheesing it. I bet the speed run actually successfully kills it. Oh yeah, uh, if you're if you're feeling bold, you can go back down there and try to do what, exactly what you did, but then use the the uh, rat wrench slam. Because when I watched the speed run of uh, the last game, the wrench slam was how he got up to ledges he shouldn't have been able to get up to. Okay. I mean, it doesn't quite work, but it's still right. too tall. But that's pretty close. So you do get a little bit of lift from the wrench. Yeah. In Quest for Booty, the speedrun I watched, he uh, skipped a ton of platforming segments just by using that. Oh, no. So apparently it is possible in some. <laughs> oh no, evil mushrooms. <laughs> Your death is not in another castle. <laughs> that was a really bad line. It was. I won't argue with you there. Okay. So it looks like they did change up the controls slightly. That it does auto lock on, but it still functions with the uh, dual stick. My arch nemesis. But when you're platforming, you want walk normally. Yeah. So it's not always. <laughs> I was gonna say, are you really gonna leave my OCD hanging like that? <laughs> Captain Clark steals into the jungle, blaster at the ready, prepared to deliver swift justice to those who cross his path. Pork is your joke. Yes, but at least he kind of knows it. <laughs> Hey, look, they've got Grumble Man. Well, at least they're civilized. <laughs> <laughs> what? The bomb glove? Yep. Constructo bomb. Alright, Chief. Welcome to you, Yoho. Alright, Chief. <laughs> Mr. Zircon. Oh, coming soon. That's funny. Yeah. You should just buy it. <laughs> We're probably gonna end up buying every gun except for maybe the Rhino or something else. Then try Grumblenet's new constructo line and take charge of your arsenal. Each weapon can be modified with any constructo approved upgrade. There's a lot of upgrades. That's how they accomplish the variety without having as many guns. Now available in three flavors the constructo bundle, constructo pistol, and constructo shotgun. <laughs> and I guess apparently Ratchet is a celebrity now. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe he's the symbol of the things. Maybe he's like, yeah, you can use my imagery. Why not? I've seen commercials for those back on Kurban. Versatile what? This door is a job. Okay. The ultimate way to make bad writing suddenly good writing. Whenever someone makes a terrible joke, have another character comment on the fact that it's a terrible fucking joke. <laughs> well, is that really humor? Is that just lampshading bad humor? Help. It's exactly Please. what it is. Please help me. My children, they're in danger. What seems to be the problem, citizen? Up the river when they attack. Quark, stay here. Welcome to the one and only really stupid quest, as far as I'm aware. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is the only stupid fucking quest. Oh, I don't get to throw my wrench at him? <laughs> you can try it now. Oh, <laughs> that clunked off of his head. Clunk. Like, he actually flinched at that. Why does Ratchet look fucking pissed? 
Probably because you've got to go save some kids. Alright, so we're, what, like 20% of the way through this? Half the way? Oh, I thought that gun was my marker. No. We're halfway there. Look at the camera for a second. No, the camera. Just look at... What, no. what camera? Like, look at his face, I'm trying to say. Oh. It's too late, it doesn't matter. He just looks fucking pissed to me. Yeah. <laughs> and that looks like his, his, his model is snapping the cork when I get close to him. If you look at That's it. That's interesting. His gaze is snapping the cork. Yeah. What have we here? More bullshit. So time is rapidly moving forward and backward right here, at the same time. Mm -hmm. So these pillars collapsed at some point in the past. Look at the fucking the way the birds yeah. run the fuck away. Yeah. <laughs> and then come back. That's so neat. That's that's nice. <laughs> a police case. You just picked up a constructo mod. It can be used to modify your constructo weapons. Yeah. This is the sure. new system here. Trigger. What the hell? Yep, you can like alter the the weapons. Chamber. Black coil. Uses electromagnetic to fire high velocity rounds. Okay. So, all right, we'll try out the coil and see what. Happens. We've been using the coil. The blast is the new one. Oh. Thus, the star next to it. I'm smart. <laughs> Paint paladin. Yeah, you can just change the color of it if you want. Paint it. <laughs> Pacifier. Gun metal. Wait, what is... Wait, paint it. Does that let you manually change the color, like, to anything? It, Fuck! Yes. You know what this means. No, I don't. I have no idea what this means. I'm going to give it the most disgusting shade possible. Puce? <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Why have we done this? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> somehow I'm not. A, somehow I didn't remember you could even do this. <laughs> Ugh. Now we're now we're in business. Oh, apparently, the Omni wrench can be constructed. No, it doesn't look like it. Because it doesn't let you do anything here. Illegal kinetic tether. <laughs> Wait, where did it say illegal kinetic tether? The last sentence. Uh, your new problem solver has also been modified with an illegal <laughs> kinetic tether. Oh, that's the thing from the last game. Yeah, yeah that okay. I used once. Because you got all of the platform. Is that true? You got most of it. Damn. Alright, let's keep moving. Yeah. <laughs> most of this is side bullshit that we don't really need to pay any attention to at all. Mm -hmm. Let's keep moving. I wanna go home now. Wait, how did you get over here? Unclear. However, you are here to rescue him. Bird butt. Thanks, kitty. That bird just got on the list. Kitty. kitty. <laughs> just for that. <laughs> just for that. Clunk. <laughs> so that green dot on the thing on the map is where you want to go. It's an objective mark, right? Yeah. I'm just trying to get us through this section because it's boring. How many times are you going to try to tease this? Alright, that's it. I'm <laughs> Hold to enter look mode. No. <laughs> Can't make me. Oh, hello. 
shit is like emitting poison or some shit. It must be. And yeah, it does auto lock. As you can clearly tell. Yes. Which, not sure if I like that or not. Are you a real wombat? It definitely makes boss fights easier. Yeah, so I guess that's not a sort of part of the skill talent in this yeah. game. <laughs> Um, not that it was a big difficulty before, but I'm not sure if I like getting rid of it entirely. <laughs> oh, gold bolts now give you regular bolts, too. That's nice, I suppose. It's like the gold, you find the gold bolt mod, and mm. you also get their gold bolt suns, <laughs> in addition. This has some unusual implications. Yes. Bolts are living creatures that are being sold for stuff. Thank stunning. you so much. Happy to be of service, ma'am. It's fine. They enjoy it. It's, like, <laughs> it's like work for them. It's their job. It's yeah, their job to be so Travel around, see the galaxy. Mutated yeah. viruses in the port We haven't seen them on this planet in years. Something must have happened to the zone. Alpheus, open the door. I wasn't expecting that to happen. What are you doing out here? What, was the door go down? To... Yeah. There must be I was expecting it to go up. It looked like a Not like solid the outsiders. Quickly, huh. We must head into the village. These creatures are the least of our worries right now. Well, Good to see the guy that uh, played that one known character from balls. Star Wars. Still <laughs> getting work. <laughs> Jar Jar? Yeah. <laughs> Is it bad that I knew exactly what you're talking about immediately? No. It's not. You know you don't have to listen to any of the shit they're saying, right? But I want to. <laughs> I want to know what the specific lore they trying to try and stuff down my throat is. Your kneecaps are now forfeit. After all the shit you've done, I still wouldn't have deliberately attacked you, but you were in my fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> but not an unreasonable one. I mean, sure. I was about to beam these guys for being purple. <laughs> <laughs> purple is illegal. Get out of here. That shit goes on a rip. <laughs> Can we get... Can we get the scene from Revenge of the Sith? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> 34 minutes. <laughs> I think I'll know what I mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> That's enough. That means I'll probably know what I mean. But the Zoni can meet me at the Temple of Zan whenever you're ready. The Temple of Zan. I will explain everything. Zod? We did a crossover with fucking Superman now. I guess. In addition to Star Wars. Man, we're gonna have a lot of editing jokes tonight. In memory of Zon Gribnak, oh, no. father, friend, and chief of the Fungoids. <laughs> Looks like this guy was some sort of hero. That's nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The fact that I can't boost around the, the battlefield is making me upset. Yeah, that is a little frustrating. But it's fun. I wonder if they'll bring that back. Hmm. And when. Yeah, I sure hope this isn't important lore for later. What, because the statue and everything? Yeah, these guys. Because I'm 100% not paying attention. <laughs> Meanwhile, you stood around while he spoke his entire line of dialogue. Look, there's a difference between listening and hearing. 
<laughs> it's kind of important, but also kind of not. Like, it is connected to something, it just takes basically the whole game for you to understand how. Okay. Let's see here. And by the time you do understand how, it's right in your face. Like, they just fucking explain it. <laughs> we'll take powers okay. beyond anything this universe has ever seen. Powers not to be taken lightly. Can you keep a secret? Yes. No, I hate secrets. <laughs> yes. Some are powerful creatures capable of almost anything. Oh, that but would be me. So hive minds that would be the one be kept that. together for their energy to work. Inside is a vessel which will allow you to rescue lost Zoni and harness their bioenergy. Bio Follow me and don't touch anything. Does that mean that they're partially organic beings? Yeah. Uh, they look like machines to me. Maybe there's some sort of hybrid creatures. Pretty much. We have to seal you inside until you recover the vessel. Are you sure you don't want to stay here? We have a lovely miniature golf course. I'll be fine. Hork, link into my nav. We'll stay in radio contact. Copy that. Operation Red Shirt is a go. Red Shirt. <laughs> Does that mean that Star Trek is like a canonical thing in this <laughs> universe? I don't know because regardless of whether it is or not, I'm fairly certain Quark has no idea what he's saying. So do I just stand on this? Got it. I guess I'm so. Through. Easiest puzzle. Ever. I guess they got to start off somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was more of a platforming challenge than a puzzle. But it's not even, it was just me jumping on one button. No, but you had to avoid the, the yeah, fucking lasers. I guess. They had to sort of... Like, a good game will introduce its obstacles in a safe environment mm -hmm. before making you traverse them. Regardless, it's very easy, but still. Yeah. But I, it was clearly like a point was put to the The Omniverse? Oh yeah, we exist in the same universe as Marvel now, too. Huh. Wait, that's the multiverse. So the Omniverse must be multiple universes connected together. Multiple mul multiple mul multiverses? Perhaps. It's all the multiverses. Yes. Plus the Omni. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Quark! There are two Zoni in here. That's like more than one. Those poor lost little creatures. See if you can grab one with a wrench and stuff it into the vessel. <laughs> nice. Got it. Got to catch them all. Operation Red Shirt is a success. Man, this place is a dump. Is this how you worship your beings? No wonder they don't pay attention to you. I'm pretty sure nobody's been in here in a long time. Oh, what? This is going to suck without the jetpack. They changed the pattern. Maybe if I just jump in. There we go. Now you can just jump over. Okay. You're right. Oh. oh. It's telling you that because of the health on the ground. Okay. I was confused as to what the fuck that was on the ground. Yeah. Looks like they've made uh, these flame wheels a little faster. Yeah. Titties. I, I was seeing an infinity sign, but okay. <laughs> we, we, we all know who has the dirty mind here. <laughs> also, we are definitely just sticking these guys in a cramped cum jar right now. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Maybe we don't know which one of us has the dirty mind. I mean, we take survive. turns. We do, the answer is both. There's one mind between us, it's very dirty, we share it. <laughs> we bring out the worst in each other. I like this movie, person. <laughs> I thought you might like it. It was pretty good. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no, the Enterprise is attacking. <laughs> so now we've crossed over with Star Wars, Star Trek, and Marvel all in the same, like, five minutes. Yeah, so it's the, uh, arguments. Who the fuck is this guy? I actually know the answer to that. The cock is out. I'm just playing devil's advocate, or playing stupid, whatever you want to call it. In fact, I'm not even entirely convinced he's a real doctor. So I turn my sidekick's cow before I bring the thunder. <laughs> you win again, technology. <laughs> <laughs> I like Quark in this game. <laughs> He's much better in this game than any of the previous games. <laughs> Take that, you fucking flashlight. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> This may be the fucking filthiest episode we've done yet. I, I don't know. The part where I compare doors to spankers is pretty bad. I mean, yeah, but we're like 10 minutes in, you've already done that threefold. Weapons upgrade automatically as they are you. This increases the damage and has no modifications. Yeah, so the normal system. You know, they didn't have to explain that in the previous games. Yeah. Pretty sure. It just showed the damage ticking up as it leveled up. Yeah, and says level two. Yeah, you kind of get it. Yeah, they kind of overhauled the entire game. Sonic disrupt. What in the goddamn? <laughs> oh, I'm buying it, but I don't. I don't have to like it. <laughs> it's shit. But we're probably going to end up buying everything else. Firing the weapon at a group of enemies will unleash a deadly and destructive mating call. <laughs> Try squeezing the trigger when the Xena goes lots of them. This is your I'm out of ammunition option. Because <laughs> it doesn't use ammo, but it's not very good either. Okay, so it's basically the suck cannon. Mm -hmm. Although it's easier to use than the suck cannon. It's still bad. But it's easier. Yeah, I feel bad using this. <laughs> it worked though. You saw it kill It worked, things. but I don't have to like. It. <laughs> it's like a shitty Sonic shotgun. It's like instead of. Oh my god! Did that guy just fucking die? Look to your right. Okay, no. <laughs> Never mind. He was playing a crouch animation, but he was also screaming. That's not what I needed! <laughs> In a really, like, terrified voice. And I really thought he just fucking died. I'm, I'm like, barely off screen. Stay close. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Through the mountain. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. Everybody memes the secret tunnel thing, but the best part of that episode is easily Sokka appearing out of the thing with a red mark on his head, and Aang being like, what the fuck happened? And then that guy says a line, and Sokka just goes... <laughs> <laughs> easily the best part of that episode. <laughs> uh. This was one of my favorite jokes when I was a kid. <laughs> was that fucking one scene? When you're not able to lock on, the combat is really bad. Oof. Well, if you want to switch to the control mode and see if it's better, it might be worth a try. Sure, it's still early on. Yeah. The enemies are still easy. Whatever it is, we'll have to do it. Yeah, I don't know if it would be better to just adjust. Okay. We'll find out. This pause screen has its own music. <laughs> or, or, or not. <laughs> well, now I'm not doing it. Well, no, I'm not doing it. Options. <laughs> uh, shooter, yeah. What? Did that just say hold to strafe, but there was nothing there? <laughs> Hold what to strafe, game? <laughs> Just hold. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, this is how it was before. Okay. Oh. Why am I not able to get this in? Is it for the wrong gun? Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Doddled too much. Dirtled, whatever you call it. Dirtled, I thought that was just part of the cutscene. In here, here, quickly! <laughs> Don't pin this on me. <laughs> it was inevitable. <laughs> Get over here. Boar Salon. Speaking of things. <laughs> okay, that's a bit of a stretch. This is the last shred of technology in the entire village. I was always meaning to this I literally do not remember the purpose of the zoning. Uh, oh, it's literally just for this. I guess it's just to collect a thon. I don't remember having to collect Zoni in this game, so I'm assuming it probably ends here. <laughs> yeah, and maybe it's just like, oh, if you want to go for 100%, collect the Zoni. Yeah. Quick, quick, use the Zoni vessel to repair your starship. So I guess I just go over here. We must. What? I love being purple! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's illegal now! <laughs> you repair it and you are now capable of interplan good. Nice. Right, oh, Zonia for upgrading this shit. Oh, okay. Well, if we ever run into Zony, grab him, but I don't right. think we have to look for him. Good to know, I guess. Okay. Uh, speaking okay. of speaking of problems with time. <laughs> it was because we were in that zone, not because the game is bad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Leaving to be a local rebel named Azimuth. A mercenary called himself Lord Barcelona. Attacked the fungoids and took okay. I guess I'll fuck myself then. Hmm? I was reading it and then the oh, loading screen just moved me? forward <laughs> without me. What? The tap water is the bad way I can do Can you do that? <laughs> it's super hard water, but it tastes fine. Now hang tight. Fine. I'm on my way. Yeah, my, I have really bad hard water too. Speaking of you getting Is this off, 2D? Why? Oh shit. Well, I guess, uh, as usual, you get all of the space levels. <sighs> for good or for Here's a radar to locate objectives. I don't think I'm supposed to be doing that. I'm gonna stop. Those might be a limited resource. Warning. Hostile ships detected. Point of origin appears to be the same as Captain Quark's map. Oh, I gotta kill 25 ships? Okay. Okay. So yeah, remember all range mode from Starfox? I guess this is just all range. Kind of, but also, uh... But also it's 2D. Yeah. Hmm. It's like on a flat plane. This is awkward. Yeah. Yeah, they were. They, they did not need to change the ship levels. The last game had really good ship levels. Yeah, they actually looked pretty fun to play. Oh, you never played one, did you? No. You like I said, you always get all the ship <laughs> levels. <laughs> Lucky me. I do like this though. This is funny. <laughs> I I appreciate that much at least. <laughs> or unlucky you in the case of Ratchet too. Yeah. Well, I was mostly sarcastic saying that. <laughs> Because most of them are bad. I think Tools of Destruction is the only one I genuinely like. Mm -hmm. What? How do I... Can I just kill these, please? Can they just die? This is really easy, this one. I suppose, but it's the beginning of the game, too. Yeah. I don't know, it's just like... But it also seems like it will continue to be easy. Hmm. Due to the, uh... Due to the fact that it's just fucking 2D for some reason. Hmm. Like, why? I don't know, maybe it's gonna be l like a bullet hell later on? I guess to so. To dodge everything. 
I mean, it did seem to have a little bit of bullet hell in it. Alright. Well, that was some shit. Yeah, some shit happened. And we're landing very awkwardly. Yeah, what's with the, the weird animations in this engine? Huh. Uh, this must be a root. Where are they like, this was the system it came out for, too. Yeah. So it's not even a port. It's, yeah, it's just something about this engine that they used for the previous game and this one. Mm -hmm. uh, please don't kill me. Maintain radio silence. Okay. I'll contact you when I'm inside. Uh, oh. Pull out the fuse and just put it uh, your shit. Okay. Yeah. okay. At least they don't get to kill you just yet. <laughs> That would have been awkward if I just died immediately <laughs> on I mean, grabbing the controller in my favorite Ratchet and Clank game. Yeah, I mean, I did uh, kill us in the tutorial. Is that true? Yeah. I don't even remember that happening. Because Clank fell off some geometry with that. Oh, right. Yeah, but that really wasn't your fault. That really was not your fault. I have no idea what happened there. Yeah. You landed on the platform perfectly fine and then just instant died. Yeah, that was really awkward. It was pretty weird. Okay. Fuck this. Okay. This is actually cool. But well, why is everything moving so granularly? <laughs> I don't know. Come on. I am an engineer. I am an engineer. I wonder what would have happened if I just ignored that dude in the elevator and just chilled with him. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of really want to know. Branching quest lines. Yeah. I feel like, with this game's sense of humor, it might have just been a really awkward elevator ride. <laughs> and then just... nothing. <laughs> just like, whoa, well, are you going to fucking fight him? He has a gun. Yeah. Thank you. Give me that. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. I get the feeling that the lasers weren't supposed to move that granularly. Yeah, I don't know what's causing that. It is very odd. Hmm. I don't remember that being an issue in the original, but I might have just overlooked it. Huh. I mean, when I originally played it. Not in the original. This is the original. Oh, you fucking assemble yourself out of fucking sex toys. Wow. You really suck. <laughs> well, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Everything that has been said in the last ten minutes was odd. Bonk. Get the fuck out of here. I should probably be shooting these things, but they're really easy to kill, so I'm not. It's like, they're all like, get over here, I'll fillet you to death. <laughs> Fucking stick your cock in my eye socket. Use your undipped last Star Fox stream. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get some Mr. Zircons. Mr. Zircon is the perfect companion. I love Mr. Zircon. <laughs> uh oh, looks like these guys are hungry for Lombax soup. Well, not to worry. Just employ you, Mr. Zircon, and he'll target any hostile entity. Mr. Zircon is looking to kill Mr. Zircon, available only at Troublenet. So, is this the new uh, main weapon Welcome manufacturer back. in the galaxy? Yeah. I think he was in uh, Tools of Destruction too, wasn't he? I don't know. He just didn't have fucking weapon trailers. I guess. I know that at least in. Hey, the, Chief! Or whatever. I know in the. Um, what was it? Uh, in the, in the um, PS2 games, it was, it was called something else. So I guess the uh, old. Yeah, it was Megacorp, I think. Yeah, Megacorp must have gone out of business. Yeah, Grummelnet is the one in the in the future trilogy, I believe. Uh, yeah. Future series. Okay. 
Okay. You really think I'm gonna fight you? <laughs> when I just unlock the next area? <laughs> okay, I guess I'm gonna fight you. Like, now I'm dead. Now I'm just dead. Uh, oh no, more against fucking. Alright. There. I think I was supposed to go over here, is where I was supposed to go. Yes, you gotta move on the uh, moving machine. Yeah. Oh, he just comes out. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that. So is Mr. Zarkon a tool in this game, or does he have limited ammo? I don't know. Go onto the Mr. Zarkon and the weapon. It, when I highlight it, he just comes out. Well, I guess I can hover over it. Four out of five. So I guess it's a uh, ammo thing, as opposed to the devices. I don't think there. I don't think there's a distinction in this game. Uh, but there are yeah. certainly things that function more like the devices. <laughs> yeah, I really thought that the distinction between guns and devices was really weird. Yeah, it was kind of unnecessary. Because they used this, they both use slots on the weapon in the ways. Yeah. So I guess just making them The difference is price and uh, their functionality. Because a lot of the devices are things that just kind of happen. Yeah. Like you just throw them out and they behave for a while. They, yeah, so you can have multiple things stacking in the yeah. environment. Exactly. And they still work that way in this, there just isn't really a bother to mm -hmm. distinct, make things distinct. Yeah. I can't speak, man. I'm playing a game. It's all good. You all know how it is. Alright. The light is telling you where to go. <laughs> Oh, you can throw in the air. Oh, nice. You could probably do that in Tools of Destruction, too. I just didn't notice, probably. Yeah, in the originals, you definitely couldn't. Yeah, so... for the Rhino 5. Yeah, so this is how this one works in this game. You have to find the schematics for it. Yeah, I know that we were finding some schematics... Tools um, of Destruction? In Tools of Destruction, but we did never I? got them all. Obviously. I just... Did I just fucking go in a circle? What happened here? This place looks the same. Well, you had to get here to get onto the other side. I think I just want to answer. Try keep continuing to go uh, counterclockwise. I really confused myself. Oh, here we go. This is what I'm here for. Give me a status update. Who is Alistair Azimuth? I don't know, some rebel. Alright, well find out what you can. If he's an enemy of Nefarious, he might be a friend to us. No. Yeah, not allowed. Positively denied. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what was all that? Nice. Oh, it was a level up. I was I was wondering why that explosion was so huge. <laughs> yeah, and why everything was lagging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As they're shooting things. Yeah. Right. I'm just imagining uh, Mars attacks right now. Oh yeah. You, you remember that? Uh, I didn't actually watch it, but I'm aware of it because of the memes. All right, it's a um, big meme. It's basically uh, the whole thing. The whole thing is basically a comedy about. Um, it's 
basically a spoof on various alien invasion movies. Sure. And the one of the first scenes is when they first make contact with the alien and say, we come in peace in the translator. But then they immediately start shooting everyone to death. <laughs> and, we, and the joke is like, the translator was really bad. Wow, okay. I gotta be careful of those bitches. Those guys mean business. Yeah. I don't have a lot of health early on. Yeah, like you'd expect the damage to be loaded up it seems not. Oh no. Oh well. Okay. <laughs> Will you easy? Hmm. There. Good. I have ceased them. They have become dead. Why are you turning the camera that way? Yeah, this thing deals almost half my health. More than half my health. Yeah. No wonder he fucking needs to kill me last time. You took two hits. At least be thankful that in this game they don't tutorialize you how to shoot guns. <laughs> yeah. I like how Zircon just fucking obliterated that thing I was walking towards. <laughs> I was gonna hit it with my... this thing, but... I also like how in this game Ratchet uh, throws his wrench really casually. Yeah, he just like, like you're just walking, you can just chuck it. Yeah, because in the, in the previous games you really put a lot of, like, uh, effort into it. Yeah. But now there's almost no follow through animation. I think even in uh, I think even in Tools of Destruction it had at least some animation. Like it stopped yeah. like it slowed you down. Mm -hmm. I know in the first couple games you flat out were stopped the entire time. Okay. In the first one you straight up put on the until yeah. that thing came back to you. Yeah, but I think even in the last game we played there was uh, at least a, a stop when you started. <laughs> I guess now the wrench is just another projectile that you can use, but with infinite ammo. Yeah, and short range, probably low damage mm -hmm. But it's a good backup option. I suppose. Maybe we'll actually get damage bonuses for it. Like in Maybe. Maybe, I don't know. It's been a while since I played this one. I could stop here and walk through that, but I, I think they would go back on me if I did. Yeah, like being bitches about it. Jeez. That's some real shit right there I was looking at. <laughs> you know, if you want to get this complicated about shit, just make it cover the whole screen. <laughs> <laughs> why do they have Don't to Don't tempt them. Why do they have to jump through these Um, detention wing? Wow. I can't believe that worked. What was that? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> What was that? Nothing. Welcome back. Super. That wasn't as much. It was just a young lumberjack. Guards, throw them in the brig. They haven't broken by the time we drop vectors. It's your job. Yeah, just green light sidekick. We're saved. I knew you'd come for us. It's good it's to see good you, to Ratchet. See you. Now, we need to find a way out. What's your name? The child. Hurl yourself into this laser wall as hard as you can. Hey, mister. <laughs> what about the Versa If you pull it out, it might lower the field. I'd like to say that that was an unnecessary you tutorial, Everyone but you can tell they just shoved it in there so they could make a joke about Quark fucking yeah, eating a child into a laser field. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's really the only reason that was there. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> you 
had already been doing the verse abuses. He didn't need to tell us that. No, 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 get the shit away from me! <laughs> There's so many! Prepare for the suck. Alright, they're dead. Alright. I see how it is. You cover me so I can do the fucking job for you. Uh, I was locked in that animation. Yeah, these guys can help me. Oh, look, they can't shoot up. Oh no, he can shoot up. I was gonna say, that's a bit of a system flaw, don't you think? It just takes a second to shoot up. It seems they didn't skip on the armor to put the thing. Where are we going? Good question. Now, I'm glad it stopped me from falling off a ledge because I was absolutely about to do that. Okay. Okay, so let me explain this thing that you see on the screen. That's the when it's full on volume. Yeah. It more damage. Yeah. So you just gotta pay attention to that hole. Right. It's harder to do than you think, actually. Paying attention to that while also aiming. The prisoners okay. pass on escape. Which is one of the reasons I don't like it. But. And also the fact that it's actually disgusting. <laughs> yeah. But it's free ammo. Yeah. You can only complain so much about mm -hmm. free. Okay, everybody need to use the Fongoids is one of the worst names for a base. And then here one of you has to go. The onboard computer says there's a manual switch somewhere in that room. Check the grab ramp. As you're walking the grab ramp to the switch. <laughs> When we were playing the first game, did you ever imagine this is what we would end up playing? No, I, was, I wasn't really imagining anything. I was kind of just willing to let things happen. <laughs> but this is like so different from the first game. Yeah, it really is. I remember when you had to move really slowly across these games. Oh yeah, that's true. It mysteriously gave us some of our ammo back. Probably ran into a boss on the way back to it. More salon, maybe? Uh, I can only assume. I'm not saying that because I know. I actually don't remember. One thing I do know is you fight him a couple of times, so it could very well be him. No, he's the only, like, big bad guy that we've seen so far besides, obviously, I Dr. Mephaeus. Yeah, but he's nowhere near here. And also, clearly, the final boss. Yeah, clearly, Tachyon's the final boss again. <laughs> yeah, Tachyon just shows up from another fucking dimension again. Yeah. Weapon! Weapon! I bet you there's something hidden back here. Fuck. 
disappointment. Yeah, that was a waste of my time. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought there was going to be a gold bolt or something equally useless. Yeah, or at least something. Yeah. If I was a dev, I'd definitely reward you for going behind the edge. Little creature, you melted out of I wouldn't, but that's because I have a very different philosophy on game dev. Yeah. The fact that there are hidden rewards in this game means that there probably should be one there. Whenever crafting a narrative experience in a game, I wouldn't hide hidden shit. Because it encourages the player to act like a fucking idiot. And just completely take you out of the game. I don't know, I think there's room for both. It really depends on if you want to be the idiot. It depends on the game. And I... It, mm, if the game is narrative focused, I'm not a fan of it. Uncharted 1 was fine because the entire premise is that he's an explorer, so him finding fucking hidden treasures makes sense. Something like Last Guardian, which appropriately does not have any fucking hidden shit in it, uh, should not have hidden shit in it. Uh, I don't know. Shut up, Sister Frida. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. I feel like it's fine to have hidden shit because... It, every narrative focused game has like you know, it's not allowed to have hidden shit in it, then I think that would limit the uh, range of experiences that video games I'm just not a fan of it because it takes away from like whatever they're trying to do. You know, I think if done well it doesn't have to do that. Because like hiding be looking behind um, Elevators and shit, like behind waterfalls, for like hidden treasure and shit. I don't think that takes away from the narrative if done properly. I don't know. I just like finding hidden shit, and that's why, you know, it, I don't really, I don't think I can agree with We all, we clearly disagree. I just, I just don't like dirtling, and all it is doing is encouraging dirtling. Yeah. Uh, I think it depends on if you call it dirtling or just taking your time. I call it dirtling. I don't like it. <laughs> it bothers the shit out of me. Fucking idiot. What the hell? Was he like tiptoeing me all of a sudden? Yeah! <laughs> We're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, can't see me if I tiptoe. <laughs> They'll never recognize me if I pull this blanket over my face. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Guy could have told you that was happening. That was gonna Alright. He's the guy that makes uh, laser rifles for Starfinder. Azimuth? Yeah. Is that true? No. No. But it is, but Azimuth laser rifles are a thing in Starfinder. Ah. Well, the word Azimuth probably comes from something. Yeah, I could look it up. I'll look it up, because it's your turn. Oh, yeah. You kind of played two levels at the beginning, but it's fine, because one of them was a clank level, and it was kind of shit. It was, one, it was one and a half levels. Yeah. Azimuth. I know it comes from something. I think it's from history. Oh, look. I get oh, a ship no. level. Azimuth. The direction of a celestial object from the observer expresses the angular distance from the north or south point of the horizon to the point at which a vertical circle passes through the object intersects the horizon. <laughs> cool. Oh, it's the smuggler. Yeah, it's a fucking... It's, it's, it's astrology math, is what it is. Sure. Uh, sure. Astronomy, math. Astrology is the stupid one. Yeah, astrology is the one that isn't real. Uh, I don't want to do <laughs> self-fulfilling prophecy. 
our schematics for the Rhino 5. I didn't even know they made a model after the fourth. Far too dangerous, you see. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You bring back the rest of these plans and I will build it for you. So long as I get to keep the key plans, of course. <laughs> Uh, right. no problem, you just let me know if you change your mind. We could, there. if it's not a price thing, we could hunt down those things. I could use the walkthrough. Yeah. To to find those. Mm -hmm. If it's not like too obnoxious. Yeah, I'll I'll look it up. Obviously, you can't because it'll pro because the walkthrough will have tons of fucking yeah spoilers. Yeah. But but you've already played the game. Yeah, I know the game. Well, okay, this amazing. To jump to new sector. I actually use a bathroom. Give me a minute. All right, fine. Or don't give me a minute. Just, just do whatever. I'll, I'll just be back. Each sector of the Briga system features places to explore and missions to complete. I think there's one on every planet. Heh. <laughs> Bilax. Ink. All right, we're supposed to go here anyway, so let's just get to the next objective. Uh, the big clock. My escape from nefarious. What is your name? My name? Um, yes, of course. Um, Sigma 0426A. I don't know what to uh, but say. But you can call this. me Sigmund. I'm junior caretaker here at the Great Clock. Forgive me, but what is the Great Clock? Not here! We're late! Come! We don't have a lot of time! Figuratively speaking. Huh. <laughs> So apparently I'm getting all the clank levels this time. Not a very oh. pleasant lot, are they? No, not very pleasant. Think of it this way, you could have had a clank May level and a ship level. This facility is. Yes. <laughs> if you just chose the ship. This is the universe's greatest contingency plan. Come, performance is waiting. So it looks like his his uh, fists have an AOE effect, sort of. When it comes to breaking boxes, at least. Really? Yeah, because they break like. Oh, come on! Huh. Stupid hypersonic brainwave scrambler. People wonder why we keep this place a secret. Access denied. Senior personnel only. See you look. Open your optical oh yeah, this it does have a bit of an area. I'm with XJ zero four six one six one. XJ nine. Oh no. While you were unconscious, I took the liberty uh, of installing another the mashup. clock actuator into your circuitry. <laughs> it allows you to create multiple selves. Multiple selves. How else would we get anything done yeah, around now here? Now we're gonna introduce the mechanic that is clients the levels, time and they're just and puzzles. Initiate them while the All right. Uses and they're usually pretty minutes. easy puzzles too. Time pads can be a little tricky. <laughs> Let me show you how they work. First, stand on the time pad. Then, initiate temporal recording. Now I'll just open the door and end temporal recording. Now, when I start recording on the second pad... Look, sir, that's me! Now all I have to do is wait for me to open the door for myself. <laughs> Ta-da! Now I can get through the door. Pretty sweet, huh? Go ahead, sir. Give it a try. I mean, I Welcome guess that's nice. Welcome to the first puzzle of every video game. Oh, I have to hold it. Do that. What's the question? Hint. Okay, I don't need a hint. Bypass puzzle. What? That's an option. What? Delete. 
Temporal recording initiated. Now, activate the other time pad and have your past self open the door for you. I like how they thought this was going to be so complicated. Record that they needed to fucking explain it to you three times. Well, you just have to do what this guy says. Well, yeah, but he explained it to you while showing you how to do it, and then he also explained it to you while you were doing it. Okay. So, like, they had to explain it to you three fucking times. <laughs> They thought that was gonna that puzzle was just gonna Time be too much. Also let yeah. you record over your past selves. That way you can do everything they did and more. First, initiate recording and open that chamber door. Then, while the chamber is open, end recording. Next, we'll start recording on the second time pad. God damn it. <laughs> When your past self Welcome opens to the tutorial chamber, level number step three. Step inside and open the door. Now, end recording. Okay, here's the tricky part. Since the past self holding the door open is inside the chamber, you'll have to re-record over your other self in order to exit. This is way more Open explanation. The chamber to let your past self in. Yeah, I guess. Then when he opens the exit, you're free to go. It would be an interesting puzzle Give if you didn't try, just sir. fucking explain the puzzle to you. Yeah, I'm assuming the puzzles will be interesting later. Or like not. They're always kind of easy. Okay. Temporal recording initiated. They don't they don't at least they don't explain it to you. Yeah. But they're always pretty easy. I think there was maybe one that actually required me to do a little bit of thought. Okay. Halfway there, sir. All you have to do now is re-record your first self, and the other will open the door for you. Temporal recording initiated. There you go. All right. So I guess it's all time. Right. You're gonna do just fine. Race you to the demonic chamber! Aw, oh, come on, I just fixed that! <laughs> well, I guess, um, Here we are. Here we are. So, it's Ratchet or Clank versus or Ratchet and Clank this time around. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is a little bit. Welcome to Mnemonic Station Beta. Ta-da! At least for a bit. He's in your head, of course. You're locked away on a secret partition in your memory. Dr. Nefarious spent over a year trying to hack in. I have to deactivate your neural safeguards and send you into your own subconscious. Hop in! Excuse me. <laughs> send you into your own subconscious. But that's dangerous. Don't mind it. Oh just my god. Who? What the hell is and I've been this? That's Orvis. For quite some time. I do not understand. Have I been here before? <laughs> you didn't think your soul came from a robot factory, did you? I created you. Oh, no. You must have a lot of questions. But first... Pseudo retcon. Uh, technically, the thing you saw is still true. They're just they're adding. Extra they're adding. Shit. Lots yeah. to do if you're going to take over my work. Are you really my father? No, my dear boy. I am a program, a digital simulation of the real Orvis, installed the day you were born in Solana. But don't worry, I know all his own jokes. <laughs> Lesson one. I'm going to teach you how to manipulate time. That chrono sector can be used to create time bonds. Try using them to get across to the other side. Bravo, XJ0461, <laughs> bravo! You just so happy to do exactly what you're supposed to do. to slow down time for just a few moments. Well, 
well, I guess that's that then. Quantum yeah. energy is quite unstable, so only one bomb may be thrown at a time. If I throw another one, then this one just Yeah, go ahead. Throw another time bomb. Just move quickly into its temporal field. If you come across a broken object, simply strike it with your chronoceptor. It should reverse back to the way it was. Go on. Keep it a try. On break stick. Why do I fix everything I touch? <laughs> Good form, XJ0461. You're doing quite well. Now, on to lesson two. What is lesson two? Temporal manipulation via faster than light particle acceleration? Actually, I'm going to teach you how to hit things with a big stick. <laughs> <laughs> From time to time, various creatures find their way into the clock. A good caretaker protects the equipment at all costs. Yes, but what does the equipment do? All in good time, my son. We now, need to reveal think this of in the third who act. Don't mind <laughs> on the head. Perhaps a buffoon who has made life difficult for you in the past. <laughs> Ratchet. Wonderful! <laughs> Good form, my son. Now, do as the kids say and lay the smack down. I think you're ready for a bit more. Keep going, just a few left. <laughs> yeah. They are well done. You certainly cleaned their clocks. <laughs> oh boy. Did you see what I did there? Oh my. I saw what you did there, but I don't have to like it. <laughs> Shut up, Dad. <laughs> Dad jokes. Yeah, I guess it's fitting. <coughs> You've done wonderfully, my son. I know you're going to take good care of this place. But where will you be? This is your facility. No, my dear boy. It's your facility. The great clock and everything in it. I now leave to you. Watch over it and protect it. Fulfill your destiny, XJ0461. Program turn. Do I at least get to keep the cool staff? <laughs> Congratulations, no. sir. It's a pleasure to have you aboard. Sigmund, what happened to the real Orvis? He sent it to Sigmund. And a junior caretaker knows how to keep secrets. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There it is. Oh. Wow. Come on. We have an orientation room that will tell you everything you need to know about the great clock. It's also great. Uh, at least uh, Clank now has a weapon. <laughs> yep. Watch out, sir! Terratropes! Terratropes are nasty little creatures. They feed on quantum energy, so they can see your past selves. Lousy hypersonic brainwave scrambler must have let them in. Hit him with a time bomb. Nicely done, sir. I mean, they're dead now. But... Oh, that's a weapon. Yeah, I think it slows enemies, too, I believe. Okay. I could be wrong about that, but. Only one way to find out. I suppose it's worth a shot the next enemy you play. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a while, isn't it? Probably. Hmm. Looks like the hollow bridge is out. You may have to find another way across. Your past selves can throw time bombs too. So just remember, only one can exist at a time. It's for your own safety. Let's see. If I have pressed on hold time. Temporal recording initiated. So if I have my past self, I can throw a time bomb. And then I can have a 
present self. Do another recording to hit the one. Temporal recording initiated. Then I can end the record. And then in order to get cross I need to take the place of the first one. Temporal recording initiated. This scrambler is going to become a recurring character. Yeah, kind of. Is there anything around here? Just the basic. Temple recording initiated. Temple recording initiated. Hmm. Uh, what? I somehow need to get this guy to step off of it later? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it that happens. So I would need to redo one of these. Temporal recording. Remember, so you can I'm always record over one, one of your one, past selves. Two, three, four, five. Then step off of it. For one. And that should let me get get this done. Properly. Perhaps. Temporal recording initiated. Yeah, and then he'll step off. Not to be pushing or anything, but the universe is depending on us. Oh, all in due time. Orbis had trouble with that one once. But I will cross my fingers for you. I heard that. <laughs> so, is there a reason why I can't just ignore this spinning wheel? Uh, I think the device has breached oh, monitoring a station Zulu. I don't have to do anything with so just the cosmetics. Okay. I just... And... <laughs> you can't seize it, no. I thought that was the answer. It's not the answer. Also, you never even started recording. There's recording no, pads, so you clearly need to do that. Well, I'm just testing it out first to see how everything works. Okay. So let's see. 
I need one recording to step on this in order to lift me up. Mm -hmm. And then the B recording to activate the second button. And then the new A recording to actually skip. Temporal recording initiated. One, two. Should give me enough time to get up there. Be recording. Temporal recording initiated. Get ready to get up. Initiated. And just wait for him to cross. So that I don't create a paradox. <laughs> and destroy the universe. Imagine if uh, creating a paradox just caused you to insta-fail. Yeah, you had to redo the level. Yeah. <laughs> like, that would be pretty bad. You fucking ruined reality. Good job, idiot. <laughs> that was incredible! You should have your own theme music, sir. I could trail behind you and be all like... Take care, take care. I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. Uh, what's his name? Fucking this guy. He's very cringy. Warning. <laughs> Unauthorized sonic device on approach. Oh no. It's a guy. <laughs> Warning. Unauthorized sonic device in sector. Hey! A guy. A guy. I guess. Can I. Use... Your time has come, hypersonic brainwave scrambler. Let us. Uh, it slows down the projectiles. You didn't actually hit him with it, so. Get over here, swine. <laughs> okay, now I need it. The clinic levels are somewhat tolerable in this game. Yeah, because at least they have cool shit. Yeah. They might not really be much of a challenge, but they do have some cool shit. Yeah. <laughs> Combo. Rat lock time. <laughs> So he's not a recurring character now. Yeah, good. So most of the time it's just been a case where it's like, oh, collect enough minions to <laughs> the thing. Yeah, and they the finally thing. caught on that that wasn't fun. And the thing is just very obvious. Ready on set? I should never have quit dental school. school. <laughs> and action! 
Never take me alive, Quack. Time is under my control. Oh, am I interrupting? Lawrence! I'm rehearsing my epic romantic action comedy space opera. Silly, <laughs> I just thought it prudent to tell you Crack is en route to the Orvis chamber. Sons. <laughs> The moment we've been waiting for is now. Now, but there's nothing else to discuss. There is one small matter. Oh. Uh, the other half of the equation is in motion. I capacity for lava jets. I was cursed by a tribe of gypsy ninjas when I was a kid. <laughs> I, I was in that tribe of gypsy ninjas. <laughs> I love me some nefarious. He's so stupid. In the meantime, might I suggest engaging the safety so as not to go here to any more troops? It's not even loaded, you moron! Look! <laughs> uh, I miss okay. Nefarious whenever he's not in the game. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. I love Nefarious so much. Alright, I guess it's your turn. Oh shit, it's another space level! Oh, no. Is it just gonna actually alternate between... It might actually just alternate between Ratchet and Clank, in which I'll case this now. is a thing that's fated to happen. Oh no. And it's not funny anymore. <laughs> if the next time you take the controller as a Clank level, I'll just do it and then let you have the next Ratchet level. Alright, maybe we should like, do each person does one ratchet and one coin close. Maybe. If this is a recurring thing. Yeah, if it, if, if it happens again, then we know it's going to be a recurring thing. Yeah. Cause I... And as funny as it is... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not fun. It might be funny for you. <laughs> I mean, I did get one ratchet in the goal. That's true. So maybe it won't be the bad, but we'll find it's out not, soon. It's not completely going to be bust for me tonight if I don't do any more ratchet levels. <laughs> but, you got, I'd like but you've to... also gotten every tutorial level. Yeah. Sections are just the hub world now. Kind of. That feels really unnecessary. Yeah. They honestly should just not have changed it from the last one. It's one of my very few complaints about this game. Oh, I gotta destroy the satellite ship. I haven't even paying attention to what I'm supposed to destroy Saturn. <laughs> Here it goes! <laughs> I'm actually curious if it'll let me just fly to the planet if I ignore everything. Probably not, but I'm gonna try, because it doesn't seem to be stopping me currently. Yeah. Oh fuck, you can just actually do that. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. Well, if they let us do it. I'm fine with it. <laughs> I don't really care much for the space levels anyway. Yeah. I liked him better when it was just Star Fox. Yeah. Yeah, I do think that that one that w that played like Star Fox, except with dual joysticks, mm -hmm. was easily the best version of the space levels. Yeah, I could clearly tell that they actually put effort into that. Yeah. This one they put effort into, too. They just... 
Why did they have? Why? It looks like the gummy ship Cork, levels from come in. Kingdom Hearts 3. I just this thing? No, the, pre did the, the previous one? Know where I can find no, this one. Yeah, yeah this one. Because it's kind of like really the open world for no reason. Yeah. And it's a ship level. Alright. <laughs> yeah, that's accurate. Maybe someone around here can point me in the right direction. See what else you can find. What? I'll be in touch. Invisible crates? Yeah. Why? Invisible crates? Why? What will they contain? Oh shit, hang on. Uh, give me one second. Uh, there's a, there's a thing on this planet, I believe. This Is this Torin 4? Mm. Oh, find the... No. Find the complete how? Find the incomplete... I don't find all of them. Huh. Explore the moons. Okay. I can't do it. Whatever it is, I can't do it yet anyway, because I don't have the thing the guy is talking about. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was Taurus, but I wasn't really paying too much attention. Yeah, but I'm fairly certain I'm not yet in the part that uh, the guy is talking about where the thing is. Because yeah. we're just at the beginning of the level. Yeah. Oh, it's a person. Oh, I hate Monolith. Monolith. Welcome, parents. Surely a peaceful adventurer oh. such as yourself has no business in such a dangerous place. But if you insist, I don't like this guy's voice. It's just be a hollow to the east. Ask the guardian for entry. I like the robotic sounds, but what I don't like is the fucking way he speaks. Ask the Guardian yeah, that. for entry. That. The robotic effect kind of sounds cool. Yeah, but not the way he says it. Yeah. I'm so robbed him of his body. <laughs> Good to know. I wasn't paying attention. It was just lore about porcelain. We don't really need to know. That's yeah, not that important. Oh. So apparently none of the people around here have seen perturbed that time is flowing through So I guess that must mean it's a regular occurrence. <laughs> yeah, at least for a while. <laughs> It's like, oh yeah, those birds are completely fucked over there. <laughs> it's just another day in paradise. We named them. They're gonna be here forever anyway. Yeah. Until this Imagine just being stuck in a time loop. How much that would fuck you? Well, you wouldn't know it. You wouldn't notice. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Because if you're in a time loop, then your memories get a uh, time loop as well. Well, maybe. Unless we're talking like Doctor Strange time games where he gets fucking murdered the shit out of millions of times. Yeah. So it would really depend on what kind of time loop it is. Could be. You specifically? Yeah. Oh, damn, that means I won't get to see it. It is beyond this hollow We do not grant entrance to outsiders. They must find it for themselves. <laughs> so we need to find an alternate entrance to the past. I'm glad you processed that because I did not. I have processed it. Because I was on my Fuck. Oh, steal that man's ass. There's a zone. Bitch. We need to kidnap him. Yes, this is straight up kidnapping. 
<laughs> oh shit, I gotta go to that thing. No, I don't have that. Anything. Okay. That's fine. Still waiting on something I need to progress the rhino thing. I couldn't fall fast oh enough! Oh my god. Ratchet needs to hit the Oreo cookies a little bit. Alright. I have to stand on this and do it, probably. That's my problem. It was me. It was my own fault. <laughs> oh, into the incinerator. <laughs> I like how there was nothing I could do about that. I, I, I liked Ratchet's reaction, too. He was like, Oh! <laughs> I like how there was literally nothing I could do about that. <laughs> I was just gonna take damage. Welcome, Who's this outsider. I apologize for the ruse, but we like to keep our operation away from the prying eyes of galactic authorities. Come, you have proven yourself worthy. It's like, yeah, no police officer will put up with our shit for that. Yeah. I like to imagine that some like famous shit is like going down. Well, you were alone. <laughs> the battery butts are revolting. All systems are offline. Imagine what a like fucking twist it would be if this azimuth guy was just a like ratchet from the future. Ooh, like that would, because of the whole time thing. That'd be cool. Like, that would be a fucking uh, really interesting twist. Yeah, I would like that. That would be cool. Although I'm perfectly willing to see the other in this action. Now this is a weapon for serious adventurers. Outnumbered by enemies? No problem. Even the score by deploying this remote control orb. Once activated, you can steer it around the battlefield and wipe out the whole lot of them. The Dynamo of Doom. I don't know if that's going to be any good. Uh, unfortunately, they only give you the tutorial after you end. Yeah, it's fine. Hopefully it's at least decent. Like I said, most weapons in this game are basically... Uh, they are they both operate by the... Oh, fuck. Oh, good. What happened? I don't understand. Okay, I don't understand. It's another motion thing. Oh. It's not very good, but it will deal a lot of damage, so that's fine. Yeah, it looks like it does. I'm pretty sure it does. Uh. It does not look like I want to talk to any of these people. There's too many of them. <laughs> yeah. I would do it in Hades. I would not do it in this game. <laughs> he just tosses that shit in with mechanical precision. Yeah. Which way is forward? Because I don't want to go forward. I think this way is forward. About to find out. This be some shit. It's a backpack. Sure, what do we got? Constructor. Let's try it. The charge burst. I'm guessing it's not going to be good. Yeah, it's a charge shot. I don't get this one. But, I'll try it for a bit. It might save on ammo. Why, does it only use one ammo? That's, I think so. Oh, no, it doesn't save on ammo. No. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh well. Yeah, I think that is where I'm supposed to go. Hmm. Right? Uh, yeah, because a cutscene showed it, but I don't know where that is. So, we're gonna over here. I don't know. Hey, bitch. Get over here. <laughs> you just took the fucking shepherd's crook and brought him over to you. <laughs> I just scorpioned that man. Get over here. I, I kind of wonder what happens if I get crushed. Are you going? You just died. No, uh, that's not that interesting. I was hoping there was like an animation where Ratchet gets flattened, because that would have been funny. Yeah, because we've had uh, animations where Ratchet gets flattened before. Yeah. Okay, good. Everything I did is still done. Cool. What do we got over here? Who are you? A okay. background character. Yeah, I guess so. Things are really heating up. Don't make me hurt you. Do it. <laughs> I'm too busy playing. Maybe next time. Uh, I gotta get this bitch down. No, you put him down. Alright. <laughs> right into the incinerator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the sounds these things make. So, RTD2 screaming noises. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bitch. Uh! Okay. Good. I did that masterfully. Mm -hmm. You know what I was really thinking of is that they, yeah. for some reason, brought, brought back a lot of the platforming that was absent in Toys of Destruction. Yeah. Okay, so, fun fact. Yeah. I know this is where I came from. Rhino plants are up there somewhere, I think. Uh-huh. I need to activate this thing, but I don't have the tool to do it yet, so we're going to have to come back here. All right. Good to know. Just have to save that for later. Yeah. Keep it in our thoughts so that we can roast the shit out of Dr. Nefarious during the final level. That would be cool. We can definitely beat him without it, but it would be nice to get yeah. the Rhino at least once in the entire series. Yeah, might as well do it here. Yeah. It's my favorite game, we might as well do it in this one. Mm -hmm. Like, favorite game in the series or favorite game, like, of all time? No, favorite game in the series. What is your favorite game of all time? Or that is a really good question. Or at least one of your favorite games. That is a really good question. This one's definitely up there for its story, uh, but it's... It's, I wouldn't consider it one of my favorites. Right. Um, What's like one that you would consider like one of your favorites of all time? That's a really fucking hard choice because it's changed a lot um, over the years. Mm -hmm. At one point it was uh, Little Big Planet oh. because you can because you can like make fucking anything in that. Yeah. So it's just every other game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I really like Pyre. Mm, Pyre's good. It's my favorite Super Giant game, at least, and Super Giant is great, so yeah. it's a solid option. Um, I don't know, though. I don't know, man. That's a good question. Hmm. All right. I don't uh, think I can pick are, a favorite those, game. Those it's are, definitely something because of the story, because I yeah. like story and games. Yeah, those are definitely two very uh, solid options right there. Um, I don't know. That's a hard choice. Let me think. Uh, what else is on? Oh, I like Dark Souls a lot for doing builds. Yeah, Dark Souls is very good. Yeah, Dark Souls 3 specifically has a lot of replayability. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's a solid option. Um, it's it's really hard because there are a lot of games that I think are perfect or very close to perfect 
Yeah, like, obviously 10 out of 10. Yeah. You know, the best a game could reasonably hope to get. But there's so many things that a game can do yeah. that not every game can do everything. Mm -hmm. So I'd have to say a game might be the best at what it does, Excuse me. but I don't know what the best is. You know where I can I'm going to shut up. Okay. <laughs> Quick time. <laughs> Just like you fuck off. The of surprise. Killing me won't be so easy. I just want to talk to you. Lies! You're here to assassinate me! Who sent you? Porcelain? The various? Figures they like the spine that can put me themselves. Look at me! I'm a Lombax! The Lombaxes are gone! And I know a hollow guy is when I see them! Can you stop <laughs> trying to kill me for two seconds so we can talk? Try this! You're starting this balloon! How about a barbecue? Should have trained more before coming for me. But I only got hit once so far. <laughs> I've toyed with you long enough. Oh. Okay. Improvised grind. Yep. Now I've got you. It can't be. It can't be. You're, you're, you're Caden, Forgive me. Forgive me. General Alistair Asmus, Thorbolt Magistrate of the Lombax Praetorian Guard. Elder Councilman for the Center for Advanced Lombax Research, and you, my dear boy, just like your father. Oh, shit. <laughs> questions? How did you know him? Caden and I were good friends. He was a great Lombax, smart as they come. He was the first outsider to theorize that the great clock even existed. And this clock? You think Clank's in there? Clank's in there? Clock is a rather crude translation of the runes on Quantas. You just said it though, bitch. They say huh. the keeper of time. But yes, but yes, I suspect he is. You see, according to Fungoid lore, the Zoni are the guardians of time. If your friend is connected to them, he must play some part in its operation. Operation. Where are those blasted things? Things. Wait, I thought my father was the only one to stay behind when the Lombaxes left. Why didn't you go with him? Sometimes the universe has a cruel sense of humor. Ah, here they are. Your father's hoverboards. Very ready for your first lesson. Guess what these are? If you're going to stop, I guess you're going to have to learn how to outmaneuver it. Oh, I guess you didn't get all the tutorial levels because this is a tutorial level. Yeah. Now. Back straight, legs bent slightly at the knee, and engage. Wonderful. Well, take him for a spin. If you want to turn, just shift your weight. The boosters will take care of the rest. This is how we move new levels quickly now. Good. I see you found the accelerator. You don't want to now use them. where's the jetpack? You don't want to use them most of the time anyway, but set up a small practice yeah. where you if we really need to move through a level quickly, ready to give it a shot. just zip and this. Oh, cool. Well, looks like you've got the basics down. Now, let's try something a bit more challenging, like this hover boot course. There's too many tutorials in this game, but the hover boots are cool enough that I don't really care. Alright. In this case. Huh. I'm gonna try and not fuck up, but I don't know all the controls, so I might. Okay. 
okay, okay. Uh, okay. But remember, momentum is a Lombax's best friend. Use it to whip around that full crack. This is like some Sonic. Yeah, yeah a little bit. Levels of shit. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, that's another one of Clank's uh, features. The well ability done. to glide. Hmm. Your father. Your father. I have one final test set up over there. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right. Follow me. I think there's a hidden unlockable in this area, but I don't want to look for it. It's not a rhino thing. You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the com comedy hour. I uh, have achieved comedy. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> we'll test your speed as well as your skill. You must complete the course and grab every flare along the way in under a minute. If you succeed, I may just let you keep those hover beats. He's like, yo, what are you gonna do? Pry them off? <laughs> yeah. No, it's a good thing those flares magnetize to you. I wasn't even paying attention to them, I'm glad, because I would not have gotten them. I'm assuming I need to glide, but I don't know where to. Oh, here I'm guessing. Didn't show the objective right away. Yeah. A little uncertain. Oh! Oh, I'm dead. I fucked it. You definitely have the skill. But you were a little too slow. Alright, well, Let's since I have the time now. <laughs> Gotta go faster, faster. Alright, I, I just you unaligned myself. Skill, really <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, real real attempt time. That was odd. <laughs> yeah, that was kinda odd. Okay, you don't have to press X on this. Let's get to know. All right. Uh, let's try again. Let's try again. Faster. Faster. What do you mean faster? I didn't even make it through the course, idiot. Yeah. It wasn't because you. I uh, didn't get it. <laughs> In fact, it looked like. Oh, what? Well, okay, that one was not me. That's bullshit. Let's try again. Let's try again. I know I've been an idiot this entire time, but that one was not me. You need to align yourself a little bit. Ever so slightly. To the left. Alright, the camera's really you fucking me up. The camera auto turns when Let's I hit the ground. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to be fast. I bet you I could just be slow and fucking work for, do this perfectly easy. Yeah. <laughs> this really is a Sonic game, is What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I do not remember having this much trouble with this. This is just like Sonic Unleashed right here. Yeah, this is just some weird shit. Alright, here we go. Okay. Let's just manually turn the fucking camera. I can't. Oh god. That's concerning. Glide for safety. Some of the finest hover booting I've ever seen. Nice work, Ryan. Ion coils might be a bit rusty. You'll get used to it. You'll get used to it. Thanks. Hmm. So what now? Storm Nefarious' stronghold? Force him to tell us where the clock is, huh? Nefarious would be foolish to reveal that information. No matter what we do, we have an advantage I did not have before. A contact inside the clock. Clank? How are we gonna talk to him? General? My ship's this way? No thanks. I brought my own. Meet me in Axiom uh, City, huh. planet Tarachnos. What are we looking for in Axiom City? A way to talk to Clank!
So, there you go. Alright. Time to do some more kidnapping. No, okay, so this isn't where the rhino thing is. This is just for this. This is for this zone. Oh, it's also a way back to the ship. <laughs> huh. Kidnapping. There you go. Ah, uh, yes, I sure do love fucking with, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say, I sure do love fucking with, you know, agents of time itself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to place this here, and we'll pick it up depending on who, what the fucking right. next level is. <laughs> As previously decided. Yes. Looks like we might actually still be on Ratchet. That would be nice, because then we could not break our rhythm. Mm hmm. Our pack. Ratchet, come in. Yeah, All there right. you go. Chip level for you. So All right. Copy that. So, what's in so Axiom City? In Axiom City? A company called Pollux Industries. The ferry has hired them to locate zoning technology. They keep a database of every obsidian eye in the universe. Oh yeah, I found one once back on Murdergraw. Too bad the Hula Force is here. Pollux won't just let us waltz into the building. We may have to be a little. Aggressive. I'm ready. I'm ready. Be there as soon as I <laughs> can. So the right stick is your roll, by the way. Okay. And you can hold it as well. Alright. Easy um, enough. And X is your missiles, which lock on once you actually look at the target. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's missiles again? X, I think. Press it now. Okay, yeah. Okay. But you hardly need to know that because apparently you can just fucking. Collect more Zoni. Oh shit, hang on, turn around. Uh, on it, you can land on small planets, like okay. those things. And they have Zoni on them. Alright. Yeah. It's kind of bullshit, but. I well, like, Triangle. I'm like, Sorry, I, I could have told you that ahead of time. I gotta find this real quick. <laughs> I could have told you, told you ahead of time, but I didn't think of it. Smart. There's a zone somewhere around here. Back to Mario Galaxy. Yeah, except this is made um, back when Mario Galaxy was already a thing. Yeah, this one probably. Yeah. But Ratchet 2 actually came out um, before Galaxy. I think we even figured out that... Uh, wasn't Tools of Destruction made in the same time? The same year? Yeah. So but this, yeah, so this is a, this is definitely after it. I don't even have to look it up. Hit, hit right on the D-pad. Yeah, there you go. And now R2 to boost. Oh, okay, here go. we go. Um, hope this works. Yeah. Got it. This wasn't a Zony, but I'll take it. Yeah, cool, cool. I think the other path probably leads to Zony. Mm-hmm. Bolt and some boxes. And some weird droid thing. <laughs> Something 3 out of 40. Alright. Well, that must be the gold bolts. Ah. Yeah. I think we got 3 of them. That sounds about right. Oh. Yeah, you gotta hold. I pressed X and it made me disengage. <laughs> You gotta hold X to hover, or I think you probably could make that jump just by, uh, just by continuing Yeah, because I pressed X, and I guess it fucked me. Because I was continuing to hold the boost. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! That's a, really weird, that's a really weird response to getting incinerated. 
stop. Yeah, you'd think it would be more like. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's just another like Tuesday. <laughs> just damn it, not again. <laughs> <laughs> Coyote time I wait through that yeah. one. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Gotta catch your mom. Zony. Zony mom. <laughs> Did fucking Pokemon rip off Ratchet and Clank? <laughs> yeah, secretly Ratchet and Clank is just the originator of all concepts. Quick, look up the release dates. <laughs> oh, where am I going? <laughs> Dumbass joke. I wonder how Ratchet and Clank achieved the gravity mechanic. Well, I think in Ratchet and Clank 2, at least, they just did it by rotating the planet. Probably. The Thrustmaster 500. Accelerate at breakneck speeds. Hold R2. Okay, that's ah. that's actually pretty good. I'm yes, glad I believe that also will get you to the planet. And if I'm correct, it's the only upgrades to, that we actually require. Indeed. Are you not using the way? How do I land? R2. You have to use the thrust monster. Oh, okay. Yeah. It said it on the screen. <laughs> I was. I guess I didn't see it. Planet to Rachnos. The only way to talk to Clank and Buddy is in the city. Since these machines are hidden in remote parts of the blah blah blah. So why does it say that? I don't. Is there know. is Zony right as we land? Maybe. General, come in. Zone. I think it's because your ship does that now. Huh. I'm afraid I've run into a bit of trouble. Make a the personality your ship previously had has died what and been kind of replaced by Zony. Attention, oh, no. citizens. Rogue Lombax Alistair Asimov has been spotted within city limits. Troopers have been still mobilized there. for your protection. <laughs> I really put myself on the line. Oh, hold on a minute. Did you press up on the D pad? No. Because it told you to press up on the D pad to equip it. Oh, no, I didn't equip it. <laughs> so it just happened? Yeah, it just happened. It's good to know it auto equips, but All right, Chief, you have not read any. I don't know what it is. You don't read anything on the screen. I just don't see it. I don't see the no worry, things that I'm supposed to be seeing. <laughs> it like tells you what the controls are on the screen. Oh, armor. Okay, that's a. Pardon the intrusion, but I just wanted to inform you that there is new armor available at my shop. Hop in if you're looking to upgrade. Pop in if you're looking to upgrade. Thermoflux armor. Oh, that's the power armor. Yeah, it's not unlocked yet, but yeah. we can get that electro uh, ecto flux, which will improve us. Easy. I think I might have never fucking bought armor, bought armor when I played this game the first time. Huh? Because I'm pretty sure I was still wearing the same fucking thing all the way to the <laughs> end of the game. The deflection of up to 15% of damage. So that's pretty. Nice. Uh, if it's only a 15% difference, then that's that's livable, at least for now. Yeah. <laughs> that's nothing, apparently. Yeah. yeah. Just scenery. So, like, I, I could definitely see... You going through without having this. Yeah, I think I might have just never bought. Yeah, because uh, if it's only a fifteen percent, if it's only fifteen percent difference, then you could live with that. Yeah, but we need but that fucking power armor for the style points. Of course. You always do it for the sweat. Yeah. 
the clout. Another long axe? Typical. Who do you think you are? Buffer booting over everything in sight like it's your own personal playground. That thing on the right is shaking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like this? In the market for zoning. I wish that was an option. <laughs> well, I'm afraid they've already signed an exclusive contract with someone else. A doctor, if I recall. Alright. You mean you don't even know where you are? This is Axiom City. Fuck this guy. Home to the most intelligent life forms in the universe. We won Polaris' brainiest race competition 3,000 years in a row. Right, fuck it's me. a planet full of fucking nerds. That's it. that's what you get. It's <laughs> point blanking all of them. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like to charge stop them. Yeah, we should unequip it. Yeah, next time we get the chance. You, you... Oh! You, maybe you can. Oh, yeah. You can. Is this the yeah. pistol? Yeah. Uh... Oh, shit. Why does it have an equip button? I don't know. Alright, uh, where's the customized button? Oh. It says it right there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Did we even notice a difference between Blast and whatever the other option was? Uh, hard to tell. I guess this must take like two or three shots to kill. Oh no. Oh fuck. Good <laughs> to know they're bringing back the damage sponge over here from previous games. Mm. Those dudes just watched you commit suicide. Well, I totally thought that was gonna work. Look at your feet. Fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just make this the title card? Maybe. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> let's, let's line this up for this time. <laughs> Whoa! Right into their faces. Almost overshot it. Good thing there was a guard. Was that a box pretending to be a different type of box? I guess, but it was like a normal box pretending to be a bomb box. So it wasn't even, like, dangerous. Or it was the other way around. I don't know if I want to ride the transport. I think people. it goes back. Yeah. They they went back in the previous games. Yeah. Plus, there's clearly two options here, so I'd say whatever the other option is is better. Another Lombax. Come back to vandalize more equipment. Mind your manners. Yeah. Any super intelligent being can see that this is a different Lombax. My colleague is just upset about the rebel azimuth destroying the terminal. The firefight triggered Axiom's defensive grid, and now the entire city's closed off. Maybe well, that sucks. Help. What's he gonna do? Fly over the grid and activate the reboot switches? Ah, I'd love to see that. 
<laughs> this game's sense of comedic timing is is pretty good. <laughs> and it like it showed it right on the screen. Too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm assuming this is where I need to go. You assume correctly. Hey, dumb question. Can you hover? Like without the boots activated manually? Yes. Ah, okay, cool. The answer is yes. Good. Is good. Yeah, that's good. What's he gonna do? Fly over him? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking head. <laughs> Fucking dickhead. How do I activate this? I don't know, not that apparently. It's that. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to hold that thought for a little while. Yeah. So this is why Air Force Security needs to do shit. Lombax's firefights are the leading cause of the loss of the So it seems like it takes a little more than five shots to kill these dudes. That's not too bad. Like maybe six or seven. Then again, you only have to. I feel like the bomb should still be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I could get into a lot of trouble for this, but I'm tired of the furious and his troops. Let's see if I can activate this transport tube now that the lockdown's over. Here you go! This ought to take you right to Nurok's Plaza. Transport tube activated. Okay. Good luck, Lombax, and thanks again for all your help. Lombax, lover. Oh, shut up. Shut up. How'd you come in? I'm in position for public street security around the entire world. Yeah, it's definitely the Y axis isn't working properly. Yeah, there's something janky about the Y axis. The Z axis. That's what it is. I think, it, I think you were right the first time, actually. Why do I get actually. the feeling this clock does more than just tell time? Because it moves time as its caretaker sees Y is usually a vertical. Z is death. Think of what nefarious can do with the That's power to control time. Right? I have to go. Call me as soon as you reach Nurox Plaza. So, as expected, the great clock controls time itself. We in peace. Yeah, that would be the end of I am using the wrench, and I really should not I don't know, he either said that or drive through menu. <laughs> Which does not make any sense to me. <laughs> so, probably. <laughs> what the fuck was that dialogue? <laughs> there happens to be a very competitive field. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
I like how these murder robots are just like having an argument with the people they're supposed to be basically enslaving right now. Yeah. Well, maybe they're just contracting. Oh yeah, I guess it is more of a contract. They did kind of say that. I bet you can throw your thing through that. Maybe not. Yeah. Gonna have to deactivate this somehow. Yeah, you need a battery bot. I don't think it's actually required though. I think that's an optional thing. I guess, but it would be nice. Eh. It's a zoning, it's a win. It's a fucking upgrade, it's not a, a ship upgrade of all things. Yeah. Um, Glorified ship upgrades. Is this Karakno? I think so. <laughs> I'm not keeping track of any of this. I really should be though. That camera almost fucked me. Watch it! I'm glad you're here! I think we missed the hollow plant thing. All air traffic away uh, from the building. Oh, we'll, we'll have to find another point of entry. Come, I have someone on the inside who may be able to help me. Someone who works for the police? Actually, he's a data miner at Pollux Industries. I saved him from becoming food for the Gorians. I'm here to cash in on that favor, Jarvis. We need a way inside Pollux Industries. They knew one day you'd make me an accomplice to terrorism. I'll put a diagnostic on the security system. In the meantime, you better take cover. Another security team is closing in. Well, shit. Well, sink their positions to our nav. I guess they. And hurry up on that diagnostic. I guess they outsourced their security to Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. He's the type of person who needs security for all I get the feeling that we were probably supposed to stick in here, but I really don't know. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even think I got the charge shot on my run, so... Meh. Good thing we can spawn and don't have friends to be fine. Yeah, that's true. Because you certainly would be hurting yourself and Alistair. I like that Alistair is actually like doing shit. Yeah, he actually does shit. Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> you're killing everything before he does them. Oh, he got something over there. He did something. This You missed. This was mine, he says. Proceeds to not kill it. Oh yeah, I forgot we had that gun. The Dynamo of Doom or whatever it's called. Yeah, it's Power conduit. That should 
give your hoverboard enough thrust to send you into the main new hatch. Sounds simple enough. Not exactly. It'll take all three of us. I'm activating the transport ramps to the west side of the plaza. Head there now and await further instructions. The transport ramps are up. Follow me. So what you're saying is I should take the wrong transport ramp. <laughs> Follow me goes the other way. Follow me. Never. Oh, yeah, you actually ended up in the same place, so it doesn't matter. Of course, it didn't matter. I think the DM is very good at railroading. <laughs> the illusion of choice. See, I'm fine with the illusion of choice as long as the entire gimmick of your game is a choice. Yeah. <laughs> Telltale. Yeah. As long as it's not like your name, silly. Yeah. If, if the only gameplay is making choices and your choices don't actually matter, what the fuck like, is the point? The game didn't matter. Yeah, there is no game. Take, Take off your clothes. clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> no escape. Depends on how many times I have to replay this level. Yeah. <laughs> or how many of these fucking things you end up fighting. Yeah. You can. Though it might take you a fucking century. Well, call me 120. <laughs> I'm not 20. I don't know, man. I wish I was 20. Why? Because then my flat feet wouldn't be so much of a problem. Oof. And ratchets of building. I'll contact you from the conduit terminal. I wish I was a thousand years old so I could be dead. You wanna talk? No, I'm good. I just, you know, I just wanna make stupid jokes. That was also I like how you fucking refuse to use the only thing you have left. <laughs> <laughs> the dynamo? No, the fucking bourbon frog. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you like open the menu like eight times looking for literally any other option. <laughs> well, it's true. <laughs> this gun is stupid. <laughs> that was very funny. <laughs> Just <laughs> like, please, no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Something about how how <laughs> intensely you didn't want to use that. <laughs> it's very funny to me. <laughs> you have other options now, you know. <laughs> Fine, I'll just exhaust this before moving on. Oh, there actually is ammo in that thing. I thought that thing didn't have ammo. Yeah, there is. Oh, damn, I guess I was just wrong about that. No, no ammo options. The no ammo option is you, Rich. The no ammo option is you die. <laughs> <don't have> <laughs> Long pause. We don't have a lot of time! Um, uh -huh. <laughs> You're just avoiding it intentionally now. No, I just needed to collect all the shit. Yeah, 
Usually I have Clank to translate stuff like this. Can you say that again in non-geek speak? When the general lowers the defense grid, you just activate all the switches I send to you. Got it. Lowering defense grid. Now. Hey, Sending power switches to your nav unit. Hey, you just gotta hover over this. Good. I'm in Spain, but the Spain is silent. <laughs> Got it. That joke is so stupid. Look. Look at the map. This is the wrong direction. Where are you going? You need to activate those switches so we can get into Pollux Industries. I thought I ran over a switch. You did, and then he gave you the location of another one, and you went the opposite direction. I cannot see my character. Goodness How did you do that? I don't know, I just moved forward. Just like your father. Huh. Follow me! You made it! Splat. Come on! The main <laughs> office is this way. Doesn't show you landing. You made <laughs> You made Could have fooled me. <laughs> they didn't want to bother animating you touching You take the left, I'll cover the right. Stop but first, I should. I still don't have it. Yeah. 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 Smash those pockets. Yeah. <laughs> he even Take said they're not worth the ammo. <laughs> Could you hear him say it? No. Oh, that was fun. I 
That, that, that actually doesn't give me any speed. Not unless you hold the accelerator. Okay, I really need to stop doing that. Doing what? I don't know. There was something in the dialogue. Uh, new constructum uh, trigger contact. Skybers. Destroy airborne enemies with this modification's vertical blast emitter, which focuses the bomb's power directly into the sky. Well, I'm going to figure out what it does. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound like it's very good. But... Oh, so it just rockets. It's yeah. worth a look. Yeah, it shoots the explosion up. Yeah. Yeah, and it's probably more effective against like these types of enemies. Well, maybe not these guys. No. trying to say there. I was gonna say, I need to kill these guys before I go for any further. I don't know if that's necessarily true. Uh, I guess I could have avoided them, but I wasn't looking to take the ones. Where does Zircon come from? By the way, you hold the, the laser thing. What? The dynamo? You're supposed to hold it. Uh, and, then, uh, and then I am not going to bother with that. You have a lot of damage in my You're shooting the hallway, so it would have been a great thing to use here. Oh, well, that's too bad. <laughs> you should really put that in mind for this. They're gonna combine! We're gonna combine! I 
<laughs> Looks like there's an obsidian eye somewhere in the Grill Canyon. I can't lock on any closer. Greetings, my old friend. Been a long time. I'm thrilled you're here to witness my greatest triumph. And look, you've met the Elder. Pity the first Lombax you meet is the shame of his entire race. So what yeah. is it this time, Nefarious? He's still trying to turn everyone into robots, or is it just good old-fashioned galactic domination? Part of me wants to let you live long enough to find out. The other part really wants to kill you. You know, for old time's sake. Decisions, decisions, decisions. <laughs> Attention, the X-99 detected. Evacuate all stations. Well... At least we know what he meant. The other guys just don't give a shit. Yeah, they're just gonna die. That thing like, yep, just it. another day at work. <laughs> Come on, we have to take it out. I'll cover you Been wishing for death so long, I'm not gonna run away from it now. <laughs> it's the size of a building! Oh, boss! Oh, hey. That sure does look like a boss. How do I get myself into this I remember situation? This No, you just gotta be either more accurate on ground enemies, but you can also hit sky enemies. Okay. How do I fight you? Unclear. Uh, I don't know, I'll start shooting. Oh, uh, the pet place down there. Oh, I see. I really, yeah, I this really shit's not supposed to happen. Yeah, I really wouldn't have seen that. supposed to happen. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Before, I wasn't sure, but now I'm definitely certain that this did not happen when I was playing it. Yeah, because you would have remembered it. I would have remembered if, it, if this boss was this dead. Yeah. The other stuff, I might have looked past. But 
but an entire boss built around this mechanic? I would have remembered that. The thing is, it's functionally fine, it just looks terrible. Yeah, it's still functional. It's not like the problem at hand, but. <laughs> How do we get Automatically. Okay. Good job, you've crippled him. Hold on, I'm moving in. Watch onto my ship and I'll <laughs> it's a get cripple you now. <laughs> Enemies have your position. I'm moving in for support. They want my position, they'll have to take it. light bulb is about to need a chain. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't even dealing damage either. Oh. Oh shit. Now it's time to use my gun. Now it's a real boss. It's time to roast this mother brain with us. <laughs> like Tachyon's first phase. Now there's shit on the ground. Some of these are just no-win scenarios. Yeah, that was just a no-win scenario. Still fucking expanding. A mega constructo piston. We just gonna add mega to the beginning of everything. Is that what we're doing? Clearly. I see how it is. Well, V five is the max. It doesn't look like it's doing substantial. I'll take every advantage that I can get, especially since that boss lives with the magic pixel code. Yeah. Yeah, because if I jump up, then, like, how was I supposed to avoid that? 
I don't know. I'd have to be flying to find him. To yeah, because you see, that. if I don't, if I jump back, the only way to avoid the laser was to jump back. But if I do that, I get hit by this gun. I'm fairly certain there is a way you can dodge that. So I would have to be holding the controller to understand. <laughs> you did pretty good back there. I'm heading off to refuel. Digger don't plan it blue mills. All of the fullers, petrolite, and some of the best cover booting spots you'll ever see. Copy that. See you there. See you there. Do we know why we need to go there? Yeah, the Obsidian Eye or whatever it's called. The thing that we oh, need yeah. to talk to Clank is there. Okay. Alright. This is probably the last one. It's 11.40. Yeah. <sighs> Please, not another space thing. Oh, there's gonna be a space thing, but I can just skip it. So I should be fine. The smartest Drachnoid on record was Gnarlax from of Axiom City. He was born with an astounding seven and a half. <laughs> and I didn't see the last word. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> seven and a half. I'm setting a course for planet Lumos. It's in the Copy that. I've got the coordinates. I've got the coordinates. Just so you know, I'm sorry you had to go so long without another Lombax to talk to. If I'd known you were alive, oh. I would have come for you. I feel like I'm supposed to listen to that dialogue. Just know that from this day forth, this day forth you have a family. Huh. Yeezy. Zoop. All right. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> the entire procedure will require approximately 183 paradoxes. 84 if the blade will dissipate. Uh, sir, might I suggest we allow the terrestrials to examine the chamber before testing the machine? That's the matter, Lawrence! Chicken? Making a lot of promises. Promises he is most certainly not going to be keeping. <laughs> that was incredible, sir. If we have anything to say about it. Oh yes, one hypersonic brainwave scrambler. Scrambler. <laughs> oh, I get the point. Ah. That was cool. That was cool. Gonna end off on a quick double ice. Orientation rooms this way. Huh? 
Just use well, your helipad, sir. We had enough legitimate plot that, uh, yeah. that this, uh, this video doesn't have to end on some huge plot spoiler. Mm -hmm. What do they say? Never put up today what you've already done yesterday. No, that's not true. Always do today what you didn't put up yesterday. Nope, nope, that wasn't it either. Yeah, well, it was something about doing stuff when it should be done. This way, sir. This way, sir. I have no wrench, though, so I can't do that. I can't fix that issue. <laughs> I wonder if you get anything if you fix every Lock single thing. Nah, probably just the uh, bolts. It provides temporal yeah. immunity to you. Temporal immunity. for those temporal of us who protect time. Initiated. Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated. Initiated. Ah, I think by doing that so quickly, I made it fuck his AI. <laughs> Yeah, it fixed him out. This is the most awesomest part of the clock! Large screen Crystal X display. VG 9800 game system. The works! Take a seat, sir. Orientation video is about to start. Alright, Orvis Industries presents The Great Clock and You. With your host, with your host, Orvis. Hello, and uh, is it on, uh, Sigmund? Uh, the light is blinking. Uh, should it be blinking? Uh, hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Okay. Try now. Hello, and welcome to the Great Clock. You're here because you've been selected to join our team, and we couldn't be happier to have you. We have a lot to discuss, but first, let's take a look at what the Great Clock is. Eons ago, our kind entrusted the Fongoids with a special gift, the gift of time travel. We had hoped it would enrich their lives as it did ours, but unfortunately... They loused it up! Uh, Sigmund, um, let's just say they were overzealous in its use. After only 3,000 short years, the Fongoid's use of time travel wore the space-time continuum thin. Paradoxes stacked on top of paradoxes, conundrums on top of conundrums, until one day, a tiny rift in the continuum destroyed 83 celestial entities. Existence, it seems, was at an end. If the universe was to survive, it would need a heart transplant. So, I designed a special gift to repair the damage. The Great Clock, built in the exact center of the universe. Give or take 50 feet. The clock would repair the rift and restore temporal normality to the universe. And that, my son, is where you come in. There are only two rules concerning the operation of the Great Clock. Number one, under no circumstances is it to be used as a time machine. The clock is not meant to alter time, only to keep it. Number two, should you find yourself wanting to use the clock as a time machine, consult rule number one. <laughs> Did you hear that, Sigmund? Because rule number one, you see, says don't do it. Brilliant, sir. All right, all right. Uh, let's go. Uh, huh. So yeah, don't do what Nefarious wants to do. Got it. Mm -hmm. That's why we need to stop 
Now, yeah. That and he'd also what? probably use it for such a secret. Yeah. Without this station, the universe would just collapse on itself. And where is the real order? I told you. I told you. Now, come on. It's time for another lesson. Demand boxes. <laughs> Mnemonic Station. Hello, XJ0461. It's good to see you again. And now it's time for your most important lesson. What am I learning this time? The clock's primary function is to maintain temporal normality. When that normality is threatened, you must act to repair it immediately. It has fallen prey to temporal rifts. As caretaker, it's up to you to fix it. Go ahead, give it a try. Fix the rifts by focusing your chronoceptor's beam on each anomaly. You're doing quite well. something to do with uh, climbing. Yeah, I guess it's something to do. I think you use this like twice. Who the fuck's that? from your subconscious. All right, Figment, snap to it, snap to it. Oh, you're a <laughs> I am very proud of you, XJ0461. And now, you're ready for the task ahead. Go forth and fix time. Save the universe. When you're ready, my chamber will be waiting. Program turn. Hmm. Welcome there was cutscenes from the first game in the background, because that's supposed to be in the subconscious. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't notice it until I saw the... Uh, I thought it was just showing the, pictures of Clint. The info box. I saw, I saw one of the info box oh, right. from the first game. I was just... Uh, I was showing pictures of Clint. I wasn't paying nearly enough attention. And by first game, I mean... Ratchet and Plank. Huh. Not this tools of destruction. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, 
I don't know if you can lose, but you can yeah. apparently take a while. <laughs> yeah. So that guy there, when is time going to be fixed? <laughs> Never. Time will always be in pass. Hmm. There will always be shit to fix. Because the damn Fongoids couldn't keep it in their pants. Yup. Temporal recording initiated. Only 3,000 years. I don't know where I'm going. I'll figure it out. I'm pretty sure this is the one that you can solve with two pads, even though you're supposed to use one. I mean, even though you're supposed to use three. <laughs> no, I was wrong. This is not. You can't do that. It's impossible. Uh, what you're supposed to do is that. Oh, wait. Yes, you can. I'm going to prove it. Nope, no you can't, never mind, because this guy will get locked in here. Oh shit, plus there's a whole other layer to this I was unaware of. I fucked that up. Temporal recording That's not gonna work. Bear with me. I think that's good. Temporal recording initiated. That's the one that you need the least for. There you go. All right. Yeah, that's a pretty effective puzzle ball right there. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. And with so much broken shit around here, I'm surprised this great clock still works. Yeah. Clock, more like nice cock, right? Yeah, you sure got them, buddy. <laughs> I was really risky. I was really playing risky on that platforming session. Yeah. Well, I mean, you have three jumps, so you can sort of correct that. Yeah. A little. But it's mostly just I was throwing the, the bombs out really <laughs> early. <laughs> or really late, I should say. Yeah. As I was levitating. levitating. So I guess Plank is just going about doing a day job. Yeah. Saving the universe. For itself. I suppose. Quantum restoration initiated. Temporal okay. weapon impact in three, two, one. Temporal weapon impact in three, two, one. Cool, this one has a ring. 
That sure is a puzzle. Mm -hmm. That's a puzzle that definitely just has. I mean, I guess it's more of a mini game than a puzzle, but still, I guess. I think with all these machines around here, the clock will get so broken. Yeah. Fair, I think 90% of the problem is the fucking nefarious bullshit. Yeah, because he was on the clock for a while. Yeah, and now he's just sort of chilling and spying on Clank. Yeah, waiting on Clank to make the first move. <laughs> just fixed this last Tuesday. Yeah. What happened last Tuesday? Initiating. Uh, we don't talk about what happened last Tuesday. Oh no. Was it the the yearly orgy? Uh, no. Actually, Caden was so impressed by the great clock, he decided to show up for a visit. But then he like inspected it too thoroughly and caused some of it to be out. Inspected it too thoroughly. Yes. <laughs> Hold on, sir. He's like, oops, gotta go. Oh, this is cool. Oops. Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never peg Caden as clumsy. Uh, normally he's not, but he was just so distracted by this uh, great clock mm. that he kind of uh, lost track of himself. Yeah. It would be interesting. Fuck me. Another All my homies puzzle. hate me. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, alright. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll figure it out as we show. I mean, you'll eventually be able to get up there. What is that supposed to be? I will show you. Temple recording initiated. Initiated. Oops, I fucked it. Oh, no, I didn't. The recording didn't. seemed to get it. Temple recording initiated. Initiated. <laughs> that was my own dumbass thing I did there. <laughs> you die slowly. It's just like the uh, final kill in the action movies, where like they get killed really slowly for dramatic effect. Yeah. I like how the bolts move slow, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, I guess that was everything in here. Give, give me the bolts. Your bolts. Yeah, you got it.
Convenient that I'm here then. Terrakmus, you say? He just got done with that thing. Hmm. Time across the universe. Now that's a statement. Hmm. It would not hurt to say please once in a while. Okay. All right. Must've got fucking uh, jumped while he was on that way. Let's take care of this space level and then call it a day. Alright, well it's yours. Alright. Ships inbound. I see them. The Valkyries. Expert pilots away from the Farrier. I'll lose them in the asteroid belt. You just head for Lumos. Just you and Kiro, Max. Show me what you got. Well, we just be the one that's been smoking the pack a day. Is that who we're after? I think so. We have to kill little troops. Who do we have blocking? Pretty sure you have a little I wasn't sure, which is why I was playing this game. I don't see a leader anyway. I could be wrong, but. I look certain to hope not. Double bolts. Oh boy, 6 a.m. 3 a.m. 
most kids these days are actually awakened. Yeah. That's normal stuff. That's just my friend. I know I'm usually like the creator. It's not just because of porn. It's a little bit because of porn. I mean, it's partially related. Quarantine, lack of job, everyone else doing it. Quarantine, second job. Um, oh, yeah. About you and Nathan both. Well, to... Nathan's third job. Yeah, I'm about to be getting it. Really? Yeah. Damn, what'd you get a job at? Anti Nathan's company? Okay. Something like that, probably. Same hours, opposite days? Pretty much. It couldn't be worse for uh, doing D&D, honestly. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I still don't know what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna bring it up at the, uh, the next um, D&D session. Because I know that, um, well, Nate, they're, they're, you know, on a bi-weekly basis, it me and Nathan are free three days. Yeah. One is a Monday, one's a Wednesday, and one's a Friday. Yeah. Evan said he can maybe do Wednesday for like an hour. Yeah. So, which really does not count. So it's basically a no on Wednesday. Yeah. Um, Justin no. refuses to do Friday for an undisclosed reason. Well, we're going to have to ask him why. Because yeah. uh, if we can't do Friday, then me and Nathan are going to have to alter. And that's going to seriously suck. Yeah. And Monday is bad for today because... I mean, I understand. I understand yeah. that Evan probably has, like, religious Yeah, it probably is. It probably is what it is. So I, I get it, but I just want to know what's up with Justin. Yeah, like, why? If he just doesn't want to do it, then that's kind of dumb. Yeah. Because he's throwing me and Nathan under the bus so that he can have this. Whatever this is. Yeah, we don't even know what this is. Mm -hmm. Well, there'll probably be a cutscene when you reach the planet, and then you'll mm -hmm. save, I assume. Yeah. Alright. So this is where the uh, time crystal thing is supposed to be, so we can communicate with... Clank finally. Yeah. So Ratchet and Clank can stop being Ratchet or Clank? Yes. Well, they still kind of will be, but at least they'll be in contact. Yeah. I've triangulated the Obsidian Eyes location somewhere in these caves. Follow me. No. <laughs> We'll follow you in a week. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Get comfortable. I thought the game a, crashed for a second. Like, get comfortable, Azimuth, because you're going to be waiting a while. Yeah. Did it just save? I don't know. Hit it again. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did that one. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for bearing with while we got past the first 20 minutes. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we're in stage two right now, so... Yeah, we we're, have been for a little while. We're going to have to call it. Yeah. Um, but we'll see you next time. Uh, because I was wrong. We did leap off on a pretty uh, cliffhanger -y moment with... Uh, yeah, because we really don't know what uh, that crystal is going to be. Or uh, what happened with Clank's father. Yes. Other than the fact that he got jumped or some shit. Yeah. Something happened that made him not return. Yeah. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So this this one's a little heavier on the story, as you probably have noticed. Yep. Clearly. Um, but that's fine. I think that the story is actually good this time. Yeah, that's why I like this one. Mm -hmm. It's not just a bunch of disconnected planets. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay interesting. Um, yeah.